uh, an $18 million increase. And that includes uh, $19 million more for the university. And uh, majority members have basically uh, talked about the university as being important to the state's uh, future of the state's economy and to attracting uh, residents and retaining residents in Alaska. So specifically, I'm interested in your thoughts on the $19 million increase for the university. And I don't know if that's directed to me or, or to you, but, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we need to look at every one of those uh, increases. And we need to see if they're justified. Uh, you know, we, we continue to watch, uh, watch the cost of, of uh, government go up. Most of that is due to health care costs and increased costs in, in, uh, in wages. We understand that. But is there a way and are there ways that we can, we can try to reduce those? And I think that there are. But we've got to be able to talk about them and negotiate them before, uh, before we can support uh, any increase. We're just trying to hold the line on uh, K-12 education and not reduce it anymore. But it's a reduction just holding the line because of the increased health care costs. So h how do we as a state continue to provide that education to the, our children that we think we, that they need and we know that they need uh, at a reasonable cost? And we need to try to do things that, uh, anything that we can to continue to drive down those costs. Nat Hurst with the ADN again. I guess for Representative Millick, because you're a yes vote on the um, full PFT, um, can you sort of explain how that is consistent with your guys' view that there needs to be smaller government? Yeah, and I th that's a great question, Nat, and that's been going on for a couple of years, I think, since um, Governor Walker cut the dividend. It became a budget growth item, and we've never calculated the budget as a, a part of growing government because it's in statute and it's a fund that we've always drawn on. It's it's never before been um, stated as an increase to budget in years previous to when Governor Walker reduced it. It's in statute. It's a program that's been in, around, you know, since mm -hmm. 1982, and, um, you know, we have a statute in place, and there's there's philosophical differences among our caucus and among all 60 legislators in this building about what the dividend is and if it grows government or if it's just a function of government, the payout. So, you know, for me, again, I've, I've not been shy about saying that I would like to see the statute change and we have a percentage of market value. I think that's using our assets in a smart way. Some people don't agree with me. Some people think it should be a 50-50 split. We need to have that conversation. Is it sustainable to pay out a $2,700 dividend this year? You know, I, I don't think so. Um, but we need to have the conversation about changing the statute. Given that, that response then, I mean, can you explain your vote if it's not sustainable then? I, I know it's a statute, but so is a 90-day session. <laughs> Um, and I've been pushing for a 90-day session, all session, Becky. And again, much like the tax repayment to the oil companies, that's in statute. The uh, dividend is in statute. There's a lot of things in statute. And, you know, when we, si we sign up for this job and we take an oath to uphold the Constitution and the state laws of the state, I take that serious. And that's why I've introduced legislation to, to do that. And, and just, on, uh, just on that, uh, I think the Constitution still says 121 days. Mm -hmm. Uh, the people voted to make it a 90-day session, and and I just give you a little bit of information. I went back and looked yeah. because I had a I had a, a constituent of mine ask me, well, when's the last time the budget was done in 90 days? <coughs> what I can tell you is since 2008, the budget was done in 90 days four different times. It was done in 91 days on one time or two times. It was done in 95 and 98 days the other two years. Uh, since 2015, the budget, we, we've been here for the budget for 121 days, both in 2016 and 2017. We've also been here for 20 special sessions in that time frame. Most of or those didn't uh, apply to the budget, except I think one time in the, uh, for a capital budget that took longer. but. Other than that, uh, you know, the majority of time we've been down here has been spent on special sessions dealing with either oil taxes or, or some type of a tax issue. Uh, so, you know, I think the legislature has 
tried to get their work done in 90 days. Unfortunately, sometimes there are issues there that uh, take longer to get done. So when you talk about 90 days, that's the, that's the history in the last, uh, since 2006. One last question. James Brooks again from the Juno Empire. Wanted to ask, um, is the debate happening now something that would have had to happen anyway be in order to get a CBR vote? Will this debate happening now make that CBR vote easier, or do you think this is just step one? That's, we're not even to the CBR vote. <laughs> we're not even close to the CBR vote yet. I mean, we're still trying to get the budget to the other side where they can uh, make their fixes to it and come back to a conference committee. We're two weeks, uh, I'm going to say we're at least two weeks, maybe three weeks behind schedule right now as far as the normal schedule that has happened in the past. And I don't know how long it's going to take us to coalesce to get a budget put together, but if, if you're looking for minority members' input and you're looking for their votes... The only way that uh, we're going to get there is the reduction in the size of the budget. That's the only thing I, that I can see out there that's offered. And as long as we continue doing what we're doing and not negotiating, uh, we're just going to we're going to be sitting here, and we may be here for who knows how long. I think all of us want I think all of us want to get out of here within 90 days. That was the hope uh, when we started this process. Now we're a couple of weeks behind, and we need to. We need to buckle down. We're here. We're ready to go to work. Uh, have been. And uh, we just need to uh, have those conversations and move this uh, budget forward. To answer your question, yes. If we could start negotiating on some of the reductions now, it would make definitely make the end of session and the CBR vote a lot easier. So thank you for being here. Uh, we're always open, open. Our offices are open if you have any questions. And please reach out to the House Republicans, and they're eager to talk about their ideas. And um, anybody that needs a copy of all of our amendments, they're up here for you. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.